Hello ladies, this is Love from Hanging Out With Love. So, this video is about friends, right? And it's not the Pikmisha friends, it's really talking about your exes and the misconceptions that we have when it comes to dating. So, first of all, a lot of people have some things twisted when it comes to what to share with a man. We talk way too much. As women, we talk way too much. And I think it matters um, what kind of information you're sharing with them, right? So you shouldn't be telling this guy about your exes. You shouldn't be telling him why your past relationship didn't work. You should never tell a man that you cheated, whether it be on him or on another man, because they see it as no different, just like you shouldn't see it as any different if he cheats on someone else, right? So we have to be very careful about the information that we share. And one of the things I continuously hear from women, which honestly grinds my gears, is that they have male friends or they prefer to hang out with men because men are less drama and that is just false like men have drama it's not manifested exactly in the same way that it is for us in our relationships and it probably isn't half as dramatic but they definitely have drama like guys physically fight they go days without talking to each other you know they gossip like men do all of this so if you think that it's less drama dealing with a man nine times out of ten you're dealing with a man who wants to sleep with you so he's not going to show you any of that sloppy side of him or you know treat you as a real friend would because he wants to have sex with you so why would he treat you like one of the guys right he's not gonna do it um and so with that being said, your ex is not your friend, bro. Like this is somebody who you had sex with. Someone who you may have a child with, right? And whatever the case may be, you guys previously had a relationship. You may have to continue to talk for whatever reason. Maybe you have a lease in your name. Maybe you have joint property. Maybe you have um, children together. But if you don't have any of those ties, there is absolutely no reason for you to continue talking to this man. If he is not the father of your child, if his name is not on your house, there's no reason for you to talk to him. Okay, if you have a protective order against the person, there is no reason for you to talk to them. As a matter of fact, it destroys your credibility in court if he goes upside your head when you violated the protective order to see him. And this is why a lot of women, I'm sorry to say it, this is why a lot of people are not taken seriously in domestic violence cases. I was stalked by a guy, literally they kept asking me, have you spoken to him? I'm like, of course not. Well, we have to ask, you know, some women, they do this and they do that. And they do have to ask because women will say one thing and do something completely different. You'll say you don't like this person, do the total opposite. If you don't believe me, think about how many times your friend or you even have said, I'm done with Chad. Chad's an a-hole. He can kick rocks. And then two weeks later, you're at Chad's house. You're having sex with Chad. You're cooking Chad dinner. He's taking you out, right? Make it make sense. Make your words and your actions make sense. Okay? He's not your friend. So number one, stop sharing so much information with them because they're not your friend. Number two, your exes are not your friend because they're not your friend. Number three, be realistic with yourself about who you're actually dealing with, right? What does this person have to lose if I'm not here? What do they have to lose? If you are cohabitating with someone but your name is on the lease because his name can't go on the lease for whatever reason, his credit's messed up, he has a felony on his record, etc. He has something to lose by not dealing with you. Do you understand? Yes, theoretically he can move in with someone else but he's already comfortable with you. 
you're already playing pick Misha. you're paying half the bills you are you know rubbing his feet at night you're giving him sex whenever he asks for it he has an incentive babe okay and that's the same thing that exes do when you're no longer in their presence and they want to keep you close they want to keep you near so let me nudge her see how she's doing see if she's dating anyone new and here you go entertaining it number one but then when you do entertain it you're spilling all of your business oh yeah i'm not dating anyone right now i was talking to this guy but like honestly i just don't think it's gonna work like the way we ended i was so heartbroken and i just don't know if i can trust anybody else and then he says something like well i wish you would give me another chance to prove myself i know i messed up and i know i hurt you and i just don't want you to take that into the next relationship and y'all fall for it every time i hate it when i have consultations with people and they're like well my ex and i are friends you can still be friends with the guy Yes, because he still has the opportunity to sleep with you. And I bet money, once he gets a girlfriend, once he starts to be with someone who he actually likes and gives a f about, wants to settle down with, he will cut you off in the drop of a hat. Because it's going to affect his relationship with someone that he cares about. Okay? So keep that in mind. Like, don't think for one second that you have the upper hand because he's coming back to you. Men go back to what's available period now i will say you will have some lunatic guys who you don't give the time of day and then they pop up but normally that's not even the case because i can tell you even for myself when my exes hit me up it's because maybe a year ago i hit him up just to ask a question and then after that i started to ignore him so this is what we call what do you call it? I'm trying to use behaviorist terms. So if you entertain someone on an intermittent schedule, that means they're hot and cold, right? So like if this guy calls me one day and I don't answer, and then he calls me the next day and I don't answer, but then he calls me the next day and I answer, he's going to keep calling because I entertained it, right? If you want something to completely stop, you have to do what we call place it on extinction. That means completely bury it right it's just like a hater when you got a a bitch for lack of better words when there's a bitch that doesn't like you and she's being catty and she's talking about you and she's trying to get your attention you place that on extinction you don't entertain that you show her through your actions you're not important you're the scum of the earth you're broke you have nothing else to do but to think about me i don't care right and you completely ignore her. Eventually, she's going to leave you alone because you're not giving her the time of day. But if she keeps pressing your buttons and pressing your buttons and making status about you and trying to tag you and stuff, and you won't block her because you, oh, I'm not going to block her, you know, with your pride for whatever reason. And you eventually feed into it and cuss her ass out or you make a status about her. You gave her exactly what she wanted. So apply that situation to your ex. If you're not talking to him, if you're telling him I don't want you anymore, you block him, da 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 da, and then a couple weeks later you're unblocking him and now you're, you know, attributing to his advances, like he likes your pictures, then you go and like a couple of his pictures, what do you think is going to happen? No, he's not going anywhere because you're still entertaining him. No, he's not going anywhere because you've told him I'm not talking to anybody, which means I'm still available to you. That's what that says okay so your ex is not your friend babe he's not your friend there's a benefit to talking to you which is why he's still there even if you're like oh well i'm not having sex with him anymore okay but the door's open because you're entertaining it so he thinks he can have sex with you that's all a man needs is the thought when a man first meets you and he's courting you and he's treating you well that's all he needs is the thought. Yeah, you're not having sex with him now. But he's doing all of that stuff because he thinks that you will sleep with him. Okay? So keep that in mind. Look how pretty the sky is. It just looks like it's opening up. That's gorgeous. All right? Well, listen, babes. I'm going to let you get back to your day. I just wanted to do this quick video and let you know that I love you. I care about you. And I just need for us to do better, you know, as women, as a society, right? Because 
we just we be doing stupid stuff y'all and this if y'all want to be honest the reason why men treat us this way i'm a firm believer in this the reason why men treat us this way is because of the way we behave most of the time we're not even thinking logically we see what we want to see so if he can lie to you and sprinkle a little razzle dazzle on a situation and make you think it's something that it's not he knows that you're gonna go for it because you don't think logically right so before as i mentioned several times i'll go into a situation and a guy will try to play me and i'm like oh he thought da 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 da, -da. but then i have to think what type of people was he dealing with before i came in the picture of course you're gonna think that way of course you're gonna think i'm going to provide for you of course you think you can move in with me of course of course you don't think i expect anything because most women don't hypergamous women are a minority these women they don't want anything or they do want it but they don't think they can have it so they settle right no more no more will we settle no more are we accepting the bare minimum no more are we taking things that we don't want no more are we tolerating disrespect no more are we entertaining exes no more are we entertaining men that we don't even want you want to be wanted so bad that you'll talk to somebody you don't want. How does that sound? You want to be wanted so bad that you are entertaining someone that you don't want. Having a conversation with a man that you broke up with for a reason. Or maybe he broke up with you and your ego won't allow you to let go. Let it go, babe. I love you. Have a nice day.